Reflow Master Fan Controller. What is it? I'm glad you asked. It's basically an opto isolated MOSFET power switch that's designed to work with a Reflow Master or a Reflow Master Pro and control a fan or another fan. Lots of fans at different voltages. So, one of the challenges with my Reflow Master and Reflow Master Pro is that they're designed to run 5 volt fans or to control something at 5 volts. That's great if you've got a 5 volt DC fan that you want to control, which I have been doing with my toaster oven. But what's if I want to stick a high voltage fan on? Well, I didn't want to put a MOSFET switch onto my Reflow Master Pro and change my Reflow Master to also have a MOSFET switch because that would then eliminate the possibility of just controlling a 5 volt fan like I do now and like a lot of other people do that already have Reflow Masters. So I wanted a solution that allowed me to control any voltage, fan or load device from the 5 volt source without having to change any of the existing hardware. And that is what this is for. So this is basically a switch that lets you plug a load in. It lets you control it from a digital in that's opto isolated. So it can actually be a 3.3 volt or a 5 volt in, doesn't really matter. And then you've got on the side over here, either a DC barrel jack or a screw terminal that lets you input any voltage you want between five and 24 volts, and that'll control the load. There's backfeed protection in case you have both powers connected at the same time. You can obviously not mix them. It's gotta be one voltage only. And the idea is you can turn on and off whatever is on the load from the digital end. Sounds like a perfect solution. Does it work? I have no idea because I only just got these and I haven't built one yet. So let's build one and find out. Before I start the build, I wanted to talk about the elephant in the room. I'm sure that many of you are going to leave a comment letting me know that you can already buy opto isolated MOSFET switches on eBay and Alley. Yes, you can. And they're super cheap. They're like a dollar, dollar fifty. But there is just no way I'm going to endorse or recommend people use those with my Reflow Master or Reflow Master Pro. I don't know what's on them. I don't know how good or reliable they are. I would definitely not order them in and ship them with my products. So I've decided to design my own where I can control what parts go on there, how well they work, and that I can test them. And that is why I'm making this. So let's get cracking. Let's get this stencil, shall we? Such a complex board. Reverse voltage diodes, backfeed protection. You can power this via a screw terminal or a barrel jack. And we have a flyback diode protection for the load to make sure we get no power coming back through. We have a couple of caps. On the power, we have a nice little MOSFET. We have a 10K resistor. And 100K resistor. These are all 0805 packages, nice and big. And finally, we have our opto coupler. That's all of the surface mount components. Let's stick in the oven. And just like that, out of the oven. That looks pretty good. Everything seems to be sitting on their pads correctly. Nice. Just let it cool down. Okay. That's pretty good. Then we need to do some through hole soldering. Let's keep going. Okay, the last thing we need to do is put on some screw terminals and a barrel jack. So which one is higher? All about the same actually. Might do the screw terminals first though. Now, I'm probably gonna have to build a jig 
to make sure that these stay straight. For this one, it really doesn't matter. Although, don't want it to be too wobbly, just because I care about how my stuff looks, even my prototypes. Okay, I've got the TS-100 ready to go. Make sure it's hot. Ooh, nice and hot. Okay, let's just... Okay, one of them. Okay, let's make sure that they're a little bit straight, if we can. Okay, that's pretty good. Not terrible. Did I just move it? No, that's good. Okay, let's finish it off. Ground one's going to suck a lot of heat. Keep the ground plane away from the opto-isolated side. The digital signal comes in. Just take these ones again. Excellent. Yep, that's good. Good enough. Not quite square. Okay, now the barrel jack. Hope they fit next to each other. But we should check that first. Oh, it does. <laughs> good. That's a relief. So for the fans that I want to run on my oven, I want to use 12 volt fans on my original toaster oven, which is my Reflow Master oven. And I want to use 24 volt fans on my new oven for my Reflow Master Pro. And in both cases I want to use wall warts, so I want to use the barrel jack. This pin here looks a bit wonky. Turn the iron off. Okay, so we have barrel jack or screw terminal for power in, and we have our digital in, which is isolated, and we have our load. So now we need to test to see if it works. Let it cool down a bit first, that's quite warm. Okay, I'm a little nervous, I won't lie. I need to test this out. So, I've got my fan controller. I have 12 volts on a DC jack sitting over here. I have a 12 volt DC fan, draws 1.2 amps, sorry, 0.12 amps, so 120 milliamps. And I've got some extra wires, and I'm going to use just the 3.3 volts out of a tiny Pico into the digital in, and I'll just put it in and out of here and hope that it turns the fan on and off. And um, yeah, I'm nervous. Like a, a smart person would test this off video first. <laughs> but you all know me. If it's gonna go up in smoke, I might as well do it on camera. Okay, what do I need? So I'm gonna have to need a load. Well, actually, I guess I need to unscrew all of these. Sorry, kind of out of the way of the camera. Okay, so make sure I get the polarities right. So it's digital in, digital ground, and the, obviously the grounds are isolated, which is great. Okay, let's get it to go on that side. I'm gonna need the fan, so load positive load ground it's not like I'm playing with mains but still okay I'll get that all in ready in a moment I need to get the tiny pico and I need a USB cable can I find one that reaches Okay, it reaches far enough, I hope. So it doesn't really matter what the code it's running is. I just want to tap in to the ground and power pins. So, ground, and I'll worry about three volts. Give me three volts, give me five volts, doesn't matter. 
I'll worry about that in a moment. I might need to zoom out a little bit, fit it all in now. So um, the first question is, well, what I should have done is just plugged in the 12 volts first and make sure that there's no power coming through first, right? Yeah, I probably should have done that. Shall we take a risk? I know I can't hear any of your replies right now and it's kind of too late because you're watching the video that I already made. But I feel like I should just take a risk and plug it in rather than put it in and check the voltage. If I plug it in and the fan turns on, I know it doesn't work, right? Okay, fine. Here we go. I'm a bit scared where I should grab it and touch it. Yeah, I probably want to actually plug this into the wall. Okay, I just did. Here we go. Whew, nervous. Nervous, very nervous. Um, okay. Oh, no zap. No zap, no smoke. <laughs> Can't smell anything. No, nothing there. Okay. Whew. Now, tangled. I need to now see if I touch the 3.3 volts, what happens? Does it turn the fan on or does it blow up? Here we go. <gasps> Holy moly, it turns the fan on. Wow, that's a nice quiet fan too. Wow, and if I unplug it, turns the fan off. <laughs> so, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm obviously quite surprised I didn't blow this up. Honestly. <laughs> now, I'm just going to unplug that for a second. So, is that warm at all? Nah. I mean, it wasn't on for very long. So, the FET in here can take uh, up to 3 amps. Yeah, I'm pulling 120 milliamps. I mean, if, if this went to 300 or half an amp. Yeah. Wow, that works. Holy moly. Let me just clear some space. So there you go. We have the Reflow Master fan controller. That is crazy. That is really cool. So two mounting holes, so it can be mounted somewhere. Basically anything from 5 volts in up to 24 volts, which will give you the 5 volts out up to 24 volts for your load with back feed protection and any type of, I guess, you know, 3 to 5 volts digital signal. I think this will go down to as low as 1.5 volts to switch on. So I can control a fan now just with a ground and digital I.O. I don't even have to feed this 5 volts or anything to power it like I'd have to do with a relay. That is fantastic. Phew! I'm so relieved. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I hope you didn't um, shit your pants like I almost did just then. <laughs> ah, wow. If you're new here, please subscribe. It really means a lot to the channel. And please click like if you enjoyed this video. If you wanted to see Magic Smoke and it didn't happen, you can click dislike as well. That's fine. To all my existing subs, thanks heaps. Thank you for getting me across the 10K subscriber line. To my patrons, you're amazing. I really appreciate all of your support and generosity. If you want to back me on Patreon, please use the link at the end of this video. And until next time, catch you later. Bye.